So, so far on my channel, I've tested a number of package sets from super cheap, around £100. And then I got another set and tried them with Matt Fryer out on the golf course. And you'll remember as well the time that I tested the secret Callaway Golf Club. That again was a package set. But in this box I've been sent is a package set again, but with a bit of a difference. And I'm very excited and intrigued to try out these because I think there might be a place in the market for a set just like this. So the clubs are out the box and they're in the bag and they look quite good actually. Now, what do you get and who are they aimed for? Well, the company is Stix, S-T-I-X, they're from the USA. And in a full set, you get 12 golf clubs. Driver, three wood, five wood, hybrid, irons from five to sandwich and a putter. You don't get a bag and also I've noticed you don't get head covers. Price wise, the $630, so around about 600 pounds. And who are they aimed at? Well, this is the one that really intrigued me the most. For me, they are aimed at quite a new golfer or someone that's maybe returning to golf. And in the year that we've had at the moment, a lot of people are starting golf again. Now, that's where I think this set could be hitting a really important market. When a new golfer comes into golf, it is quite confusing to buy a set of clubs. I've been asked loads of times on my social media, hey Rick, I'm just starting golf, what do I buy? Now, if they've got a certain budget, it's actually quite easy. Let's say it's 200 pounds. Well, they're quite limited on what you can get. And typically you'll pick up a package set or maybe a second hand set. If you've got two grand to spend, 2000 pounds, well, yeah, you might go down the route of getting custom fit and you go for one of the main manufacturers. But when someone's got around about this price, 600 pounds ish, it can get quite confusing because you could go down the second hand route, yes but you have to know what you're looking for to go second hand. You've seen the golf bidder challenges I've done in the past, that's all well and good, but you've got to know what you're getting. So that's why when you look at a set like this, that's brand new, no one's ever used them, they're brand new out of the box. And for that price point, I could really see an important market for this set of clubs. Now, even though these golf clubs look pretty good and I'm excited to test them, it's not all rosy, it's not all positive. There's a few things I've already noticed. As I mentioned, there's no head covers in the woods, so I'd be worried that they would get damaged pretty quickly. The loft of the irons are quite strong, so the seven iron is a 28 degrees loft, so it should go a long way in theory. But what that does then to the bottom end of the golf club, there's a massive loft gap between pitching wedge and sand wedge. You'd almost need a gap wedge definitely, and maybe even a lob wedge, negatives there. Also, and this is really a big one, out of the 12 clubs that I got sent in that box, as you saw, Six of them, half the set, were somewhat damaged in some way, little scratches or marks. And even though they were protected pretty well, I wouldn't be happy with that if I'd paid, again, 600 pounds or dollars for this set of clubs. Also coming on to custom fitting, you can't get fully custom fitted, but you can change the length of the golf clubs depending on your height. So you can go longer or shorter depending, and that's quite a good thing, a little gauge on the website. And also, they only come in graphite stiff flex. So that's a little bit of a downside as well if you want more variety. And the last thing, you cannot particularly go to a shop and try a set like this. You have to order them online. I think you do have a return policy of 30 days or something, but that's a bit of a downside as well. All that being said, that's who they're aimed at. That's what you get. Let's get on the golf course. Uh, before that, I'm actually going to test the putter first on the putting green. I'm intrigued to see what the irons do, certainly the durability, and I'm excited to give this driver a rip. Let's go and find out how these sticks stack up. Ah, so overall, performance-wise, that putter didn't do too bad. I felt like I hold a fair share of putts. However, I've got to call out a couple of things. The weight and the feel of this putter is very unusual. I would put that down to the fact it's got a heavy head, a heavy grip, but a light shaft. I feel like the balance point is a little bit off. Now, obviously, I'm going to spot that. So I test a lot of putters. Somebody maybe new to golf might not really call it out. But again, I can't massively fault performance. I like the look of the putter. I could get the ball in the hole and you could scoop it up with the back of the putter. 
all good positive points. Right, quick one, the course is quite busy. So I've jumped out on 13th, but there's actually quite a bit of a gap behind me. So what I'm gonna to do to test these clubs properly, I just put random balls down on the hole and test all the clubs from different locations. One of the worst feelings in golf when you hit two brand new Pro V1s straight into the water. So after spending time on that opening hole, hitting loads of different golf balls from different locations, I've got to say this, they feel ridiculously better than I thought they were gonna do. Now what I'm gonna do next is test it on one of my favorite par threes, the 14th hole at Marriott Worsley Park. Because the issue with maybe a package set like this, sometimes the quality control can lack. So I wanna see if the lofts are gonna match up to the distances I expect to hit. So I'm gonna hit some short irons off this front tee, move a little bit back, go up a club, move a little bit back, go up a club see how good I can control the shots. And then I'm gonna test this out, the driver on GC quad and see what performance I can get out of it. So I've hit the irons there from three different distances. Now I'll give you a summary of the irons. First off, the field is pretty solid. The flight, when I hit them, comes out hot and low. The lofts are strong, so they do go longer than what I would normally see with a seven iron, let's say. If you hit them bad, yeah, you see a drop off in performance. But when we talk about what I was getting to in the point about quality control, for me, they go in the distances I expect to see from the lofts on these clubs. The next thing I'm intrigued about is how much this finish of this black wedge is gonna last. Now I've tested wedges in the past and they have a black finish and yes, the finish does come off, but I have some suspicions that these might not last that long. And the reason for that is because when the clubs arrived, as I mentioned, six of them were damaged. So let's hit 10 shots out of the bunker. That's what it looks like when it's perfect. Let's hit 10 and see what it looks like after. So that's 10 shots out the bunker with this sand wedge. It's brand new before going in. And after 10 shots, we see a little bit of scratching. The sole of the golf club isn't as perfect black finish anymore. The face definitely has some scratch marks. Now, that's not massively gonna affect performance, but still, if you spent money on clubs, you just don't want them to scratch like this. And also, this is a really weird spot as well. Like it's scratched around the neck. Must be where the sand's kind of clipped off it. I think again, for who these golfers are going to be aimed at, you know, an amateur golfer, they are going to hit two, three, four shots in a bunker sometimes if they don't get it out first time. Like I say, if it just scratches up like that, it's not going to affect performance, but they're not going to look that great in the bag after a while. Something to consider. And then the last test, the driver, the big stick. I'm intrigued to see how this performs on GC quad hitting Pro V1s. Now I normally hit my own driver carrying around about 280 yards. So I've got to give this driver a little bit of leeway because it's not in the loft that I would normally use. It's slightly more lofted and it's just in a stock stiff shaft. So for me, if this driver performs and gets over carry of 265 yards, I've got to say it's a success. Okay, so I'm excited about this. The one thing I've got to just call out 
just from the start is this driver looks like the face is aiming more left. The grip's not quite on straight. It's very close face. And again, for a lot of golfers, they might love that because it might stop their slice a bit more. For me, I'm not the biggest fan of that, but I should probably override it. Right, let's see how this does. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, my bad on that. I've just hit a horrendous shot. I've hit it miles off the planet to the right. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna count that one. That's better. Right, when you hit it proper, this has shocked me. It came off like a bullet. 289 yards of carry. Wow, 289, right. Um, let's see if we can keep up at that rate. Okay, that's quite a contrast, those two shots. The first one I nailed, yes. The second one I hit very much off the bottom and it carried 266. That was a big drop off. Oh my God, that driver sounds so loud. Okay, last one. After all the shots I've hit, the one thing I have noticed as well is the weight and balance of this driver is really good. It feels super premium. Wow. Honestly, did not expect those numbers with this driver. When I crushed it out the middle, it didn't just go 265, which I expected. It was nearer to 285 yards. The longest one was 289 yards. I did not expect that one bit. There's the downside. Yes, when I caught it off the bottom, we did see a drop off in performance, but even then, still carried 266, which was better than my expectations. Now, you could argue that a premium driver, you might not see that level of drop off, but it's hard to really measure that. For me, Hand on heart, this driver performed ridiculously better than I expected. Right, I feel like I've given this set of clubs a real good test today. And I've made some notes about what I like. I'm going to start off with what I don't like, the negatives. There's quite a few. First off, the condition the clubs came in. As you saw, as I got them out of the box, six of them were damaged. And I wouldn't be happy if they were brand new. The other big thing as well, they didn't come with any head covers. And I must admit, obviously we're on a wet golf course today, but they do look a little bit kind of battered and I think they would get battered in the bag as well. And also touching on condition, you saw what happened to the sand wedge when I did that durability test. I just don't feel like this black finish is gonna last super long. And I think after a few months playing with these clubs a lot, maybe bashing around the golf course a bit, they'd start to look quite battered. Another one, the gapping between the pitching wedge and the sand wedge is massive. It's like 13 degrees. So you might need some extra clubs, which actually comes on quite nicely. The other things that you might need to consider if you're gonna get a set like this, as I mentioned, it doesn't come with any head covers. So if you wanted to protect your woods and your putters, it's probably gonna cost you about 50 quid doesn't come in the bag. So again, you're probably going to be starting price minimum 50 pounds as well. And also you might want to, as you progress, there's only a 12 set makeup. You can have 14 in your bag. You might want to add a gap wedge or a lob wedge to give you a little bit more variety. Again, that's going to cost a bit more money. So realistically to get everything, you're going to be much closer to 800 pound once you've kind of spent everything. So it's something definitely to consider. And then coming on to fitting. Yes, you can get limited fitting on the website. You can get them longer or shorter depending on your height, but that's pretty much it. Like you can't get different line angles, you can't get different shafts. It only comes in graphite stiff and that's quite limited. Luckily, it kind of suited me to be fair when I use these. And then that's coming quite nicely onto the positives. And I've just put this as a line. The performance was mega all the way through the set. Like the performance, I couldn't really fault the clubs from the putter, which again is maybe not the best feeling, it performed really well. The irons, again, great. The strong loft did go a long way, but I can't fault the performance. And the driver on GC Quad, wow, mega, unbelievable. And I've got to say, on the website and in person, these clubs look really smart. Like, I think this is a good looking set, certainly when they're brand new. Um, and I think, again, for that golfer who might be new, might be returning back to golf and they want to treat themselves, but they want a set that looks decent. This is great. I mean, granted, if you're an established golfer, you might not swap from your set of TaylorMade or your Callaways, that's fine. But there is a big market for people who want to spend money on golf clubs, but want something that is new and somewhat premium. And I think that hits the mark. What I've liked about this company and Sticks, and I'm not sure enough companies are catering for this market, is it simplifies the buying process. Like you can just go on and you can get a set without being too confusing. 
Overall, I think this is a good set. And I think it's almost too good to be sat at home doing nothing. So I'm gonna give them away. Yes, they're a bit battered and bruised now, but guys, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you wanna win this set. I'll box them back up and ship them anywhere in the world. That was my review of the sticks. Pretty decent, comes with positives, but obviously some negatives. We'll see you next time.